Where heat escapes, there are thermal bridges. Even buildings lose temperature through thermal bridges. Structural damages, such as mold, can be the result. How do you install thermal insulation properly so that there are no thermal bridges generated? At least 40% of the insulation board surface must be covered with adhesive mortar when attaching insulation panels on the facade. The mortar must form a continuous coil at the edges. This should be approximately 3 centimeters high. Three bearing spots are necessary in the middle. Clean and closed joints must be ensured when installing the insulation board. Otherwise, a thermal bridge is generated. Excess mortar must be removed immediately. The insulation boards are staggered in each row. The correct drill must be used for drilling the holes. In order to have the proper depth of the holes, an adhesive tape is placed on the drill. In order to give the insulation boards good footing, the holes are arranged in a W formation. Then the dowels are inserted. These are sunk with the appropriate drill bit in the proper depth. Plugs of insulating material in the correct size are placed in the holes to ensure that no thermal bridge is generated. The plugs are placed even with the insulation board surface. The insulation boards are placed correctly and additionally fixed with dowels.